Weather Authority forecast is brought to you by Dorset Automotive. Come and see the all-new third row 2021 Hyundai Palisade at Dorset Hyundai. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Looking west, a lot of cloud cover up out in the River Post Buildings weather cam. Rain well off to the west. We'll get in here later tonight for some of you after midnight. Here's the school day forecast for 7 o'clock, Terre Haute 59. Rain likely, maybe a rumble of thunder. Plan on that. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. A rainy day Monday, showers Tuesday. All added up over 48 hours. Could be some heavy rain. Then, big warm-up follows right now. Terre Haute 71, two points up to 52. Southeast wind at 7. Pressure's falling from 30 to 11. No rain here at the studios. We're waiting. Just oh, a sprinkle here or there after midnight. One one hundredth is all we recorded at the airport. That was it. Now, temperatures for lows, 50s for the most part. Paris, Terre Haute all at 54. Touch warmer down to the south with Vincennes at 58. High temps pushed into the 70s, 75 there at only floor of Vincennes, 72 at Paris. Airport checking in at 71 right now, north to south Paris at 71, Bloomington 71. A little warmer over at Newton where they're at 74 degrees. Now winds coming in out of the southeast, 5 to 10 mile an hour range time. Metro view if you're headed out, I think you'll stay dry. If you want to take the umbrella farther west here just to be safe. But as we get in past midnight, you can see the rain starting to show up there. Temps are going to be pretty mild overnight, upper 50s, low 60s. Now, big picture, a lot of moisture streaming into the area. Suddenly breeze. So we're in for a good stretch of soaking rain. Starts Monday, goes into Tuesday. Here's a look locally on the satellite and radar. And just some very light activity edging into the southwest. Dorset Automotive, live Doppler radar. You can see northwest of Effingham. And then the bulk of the rain right now is west and north of Springfield, moving northeast. Now, if you're worried about severe weather, don't be. Just a general thunderstorm activity right there. Not even marginal, which is the low end of the threat scale. Tomorrow, day two, same picture. Just general thunderstorm activity. Day three, Tuesday, again. Now, that can change, but it looks like this is going to be a soaking rain. Storm energy out of this, as we get into Monday and Tuesday, virtually nil. Didn't even, hardly even touch the low end of the scale up there for the worry index, so we're in good shape. Future cast, we'll make a few stops as we get into news time tonight, approaching midnight. The rain moved into Terre Haute in light form. Uh, tomorrow morning, Savannah will have some rain to talk about. Looks like it'll be pretty much overrunning the area. Bit of a break there, noon to the southwest, and as we go into the afternoon hours, live at 5 and the news at 6. Still shower activity. Then, as we go Monday night, overnight, into Tuesday, it looks like the rain is going to pretty much encompass the whole area. So there's some pretty heavy shower activity coming in. Occasional rumble of thunder. I think for the most part, though, just plain old showers. And look at these numbers. Rainfall over the next 48 hours. Maybe two and three quarters, Mattoon over two at Effingham. Oh, almost an inch and a half there at Terre Haute. So lighter amounts to the south. And again, a thunderstorm would give you more rain than what that shows. We dry off after Tuesday into early Wednesday. I think we stay dry. Very low threat for any rain on the weekend. Get into Monday and Tuesday of next week, we'll have to put some shower activity back in the forecast. 58 to 9, rain likely very late, maybe a few storms. And tomorrow, umbrella required, rain likely a few storms. Going to be heavy rain through Tuesday, scattered Tuesday or Wednesday, I should say. And then look at that warm up, 80s, sunshine for next weekend. If that holds true, gorgeous weekend coming up. Omar's back with sports.